Hello! Welcome to Lunch with the Doc! <laughs> Here we are at the Arthur House today. We have a very special Lunch with the Doc planned for you guys because we have the most amazing Mama Lisa with us. And she's going to show us how to make a homemade Arthur lunch. Just kind of, we're just welcoming you into our kitchen and our everyday life and what we normally do here at the Arthur House, which is pretty amazing, all because of this woman. She's an amazing cook, amazing mother, just feeds us all the awesome nutrition that we need. And now we have learned taking on the torch. So we're going to be dropping some culinary bombs on you today. Mm -hmm. You're just like, oh my, no way. I never knew that you was possible. <laughs> Mama Lisa, your creative mind in the culinary arts is just incredible. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to make a super salad uh, for lunch. Uh, mm -hmm. Show you all our special super ingredients, where we get them, how we get them, why we get them. Maybe talk about Mama Lisa's super kombucha that she makes. That could be kind of exciting and mm -hmm. fun, right? All right, all right, mm -hmm. okay. And, uh, Mama yeah. Mama Lisa, do you like to cook? Love to cook. It's one of my favorite things. Love to feed people. Love people to be happy with my food. It's true. Yes. She so, feeds many people with I, her amazing food. I feed. In that teeny tiny dining room we have in here, we've had 40, 50. Yes. In the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. And they all had to fit. So and I'm going gonna, gonna to film... So I'll see you guys maybe at the end, but I'm going to be behind the camera most of the time mm -hmm. and just like letting these two stars shine brightly mm -hmm. like they, like they do. So yes. here we go. Here we go. So here we have our little spread of amazing ingredients to add to our salad. What? Yeah. What? Pretty Come epic. So on. Let me just give you a little, um, little overview here. Okay. So we got some artichoke hearts. Here, which are one of my all-time favorites. These are from Trader Joe's, and they're just yummy. Good healthy fats, and just really good. Um, we got some green olives here that they literally taste like butter. They're what? amazing. Olives don't taste like butter. <laughs> Show us the can. Oh, oh, green olives pitted from Trader Joe's. When right? did you start buying those? About a year and a half ago. Really? Yep. Why? Because olives have tons of really good fat, mm -hmm. and then you get the fiber in there as well, and you get to chew it. Mm -hmm. what, happened, what happened to me when I started eating this? Uh, you could eat a can in one sitting. <laughs> what, what did I think about olives prior to this? Um, I, th I don't think you liked them. I hated olives. Yeah, well, because a lot of olives are cured in um, vinegar, and these are not. Mm -hmm. Oh. So they are very mild and buttery and delicious. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't our, know that. Yeah. My dad's mom, Nana, our beloved Nana, she loves these. She's like, oh honey, these are like butter. Oh honey, I could just eat a million. So cute. <laughs> we love it. So then we have some tuna, wild albacore tuna. Now, mom, tell us a little bit about tuna, why it's so good for you, and why you buy the kind that you buy. Well, I bought this at Costco, and it is um, Wild Planet, and so it is non-GMO certified, and it's safe for dolphins and for turtles. Ooh. And so it is definitely a little bit more expensive, but if you're going to save the dolphins and you're going to save the turtles, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. And it's sustainably sourced, right? Sustainably pull and line caught, so that means they mm. aren't using nets. Oh, well, which good. is in, very important for the ocean, right? Very important for the ocean, So yes. why is it important to spend the extra buck and buy a... Um, a product like that? Because you aren't using that so you aren't catching a whole bunch of other critters in there that shouldn't be caught and they're not getting thrown back in so they yeah. all they all are you know d die as well as the food mm -hmm. that we eat and then the other thing is is that it is a little bit more expensive and you're going to use it more sparingly sure which we all should use everything sparingly and not let food go to waste mm -hmm. yeah what about like organic in general? Aren't you spending a bit more? Like why why spend more if you can just go to the 99 cent store or Target and buy your groceries there? Well, for instance, this these greens, which are really important to buy organic, are from Costco and they come in a big, large container for a family. I mean, we can get maybe three salads out of there. Mm -hmm. the, the thing about buying organic is then the planet isn't being sprayed with pesticides and Roundup and um, 
it's way more healthy for our planet. It's healthier for the for the people that are working the farm. Mm -hmm. It's healthier for the people that are working around the farm. It's healthier for the people that are picking the crops. So all in all, it's much healthier and it's it doesn't go into the runoff. The runoff is gonna go in the streams, the streams mm -hmm. are gonna go into the rivers, the rivers mm -hmm. are gonna go in the ocean. So eventually it's gonna affect us all. Mm -hmm. So this way we're we're being good stewards of our planet. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. of our own bodies too. That goes without saying. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so obviously non organic Foods, vegetables, fruit, whatever, has pesticides and chemicals that are very toxic to our body. Some of the worst things to buy, like top ones are apples, right? Apples. Apples. Berries. Berries. Um, un any product that it lives under the ground, especially potatoes. Oh, potatoes. Very important for potatoes to be organic. Um, trying to think what else. Things that have a thicker skin on the outside, like avocados and oranges it's not quite as ne necessary for it to be organic tomatoes are pretty important to be mm -hmm. organic so you want to buy your tomatoes organic carrots would be important to be organic because they're underneath the ground mm -hmm. so when you think of something that has a thicker skin you're a little bit safer to not buy it organic has a thin skin underneath the ground definitely want to be organic mm -hmm. yeah Yes. So what are the ingredients we got today? What are we putting in our super salad? All right, so she just put in feta cheese, which is amazing. So I have a bit of a dairy sensitivity, and actually this feta is sheep. It's made from sheep, and my body is good processing it. So at the office, Dr. Lisa, Dr. Gary, our parents, they do something called applied kinesiology, which is using muscle testing to see what your body might be reactive to or be weak to. And through that muscle testing and through vials, we found that I'm weak to dairy. But then when I have tried the sheep's cheese, put it in my mouth, they muscle test a, str a normally strong muscle. I'll put it in my mouth, muscle test me, and I go weak. It's because my body's reacting to it. My nervous system does not like it. So it's my not incongruency. Flow, not incongruent with my body. So, but this feta is amazing and I can totally eat it. This feta is from Trader Joe's. It comes from Israel. It's made from sheep cheese. Sorry, we don't have the package, but it is a blue and yellow and green package that's from Israel, and it says sheep feta on it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. What's up with these carrots? Those carrots are organic carrots. They're heirloom carrots from Dang. Trader Joe's. Ooh, look at those pretty. things. They're beautiful. So beautiful. Can you grab the bag and show us what they look mm, like yes. in the refrigerator? Dang. Look at how pretty carrots. those carrots are. What do they look like? Like, oh, what do they look like? Mm, I they look like an eye, and they've got lots of vitamin A, which is good for your eyes. Ooh. So here's the our... The organic carrots of many colors. Look at purple, yellow, orange. Do you know that the more colorful your meal is, the healthier it is for you? Shut up. Yep, that's a good what? tip. So just throw in those colors, you know, tomatoes. Get your red and green and orange and purple. And... So what are these, Mom? What are you cutting up now? So these are cucumbers, English cucumbers. They're organic too. Come in three in a package from Trader Joe's. Super reasonable price for that organic cucumber. And um, anything that I can buy at um, Costco that's organic, I will buy it because it's very reasonable and um, and good. Are you putting it? An apple on your salad? We are. These, um, you know, I find when I buy apples, because apples are getting pretty expensive, that I buy them in a bag, organic bag of apples, and then they're way more economical. So I find bags of apples organic either at Traders or at Mother's or, yeah, Traders or Mother's. Mm. And so I got these at Mother's and they're pink lady apples, organic, and they're super good. Ooh, yummy. Yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah, you like, you gotta have the crunchy, crisp apples, you know? Like those old ones that you used to get at the cafeteria. In what school. are those called? <laughs> uh, granny apples, right? Or Red Delicious. Granny Smith or Red Delicious, like mushy and. No. Yeah, these people. Maybe, you know, to each their own. Maybe some people like those, but I personally, it's just, no. You gotta have the crunch. You gotta so what's have the that? sweetness. So we got an avocado. Why an avocado? Isn't it? Uh, why do you eat avocados? It's fat, right? Isn't fat bad for you? <laughs> 
I actually personally believe that fat is my most favorite food group. And that's why I eat a lot of avocados, a lot of nuts. Twist, twist it. Well, I was trying. Um, <laughs> a lot of that's healthy, weird... healthy uh -oh. eggs. What's happening right here? Uh-oh, we had a full <laughs> malfunction in trying to take out the avocado seed. <laughs> Um, eggs with egg yolks. I, I believe that egg yolks are a super healthy fat, not a not a bad fat. So we've always eaten egg yolks around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. So this avocado, well, didn't want to give up its seed. Mm -mm. But thank you, avocado, for yeah. giving up your seed. So you know, avocados can be used in food. You can also put them on your face for a great lotion. What? Ooh, I like that. Too. Yeah. A little beauty little mask beauty, of avocado. Little beauty mask of avocado. So what do you just like, you just like take an avocado and then just like kind of like punch yourself in the face with it? <laughs> exactly. What do you do? Do you like just slap it on? Yeah, just slap it on. How do you like... Like it's like a little mask. Like in slices, like, you know, the slices that come on your tacos, like lay like a slice over your cheek and then one slice over, or do you like mash it up in a guacamole and then just plunge your face into the bowl of it? Could do that. We're going to make some of the best salad dressing on the planet. Oh, what? You make your own salad dressing? Well, yes. I did not grow the grapes or make the vinegar. What? But you take, you take, no way. Okay. So, wait, wait, what's to your left right here? That's my kombucha. Excuse me? Whoa! I learned kombucha making kombucha. from um, Dana Crawley. You make kombucha? Yeah. And you make your own salad dressing? <laughs> and your own salads? She's a doing at home kind of guy. Oh, I need my glasses. What? So, Dana Crawley of Laguna. Look at all these. All these taught me how to make kombucha. Wow. And this one's ready to go. You can see that top's pushing up. So, um, yeah, we'll talk about kombucha in a little while. What I? happened to uh, earlier? Well, earlier, I <laughs> these are actual kombucha bottles that have been recycled. I made some kombucha in a tequila bottle. <laughs> and the tequila bottle burst this morning. No. So there, I, luckily, um, it was in a closet. I mean, it was in a cabinet. That's good. Okay, so with the recipe, the recipe. Here it comes. Write it down. Get your pen and paper out because this is something you're gonna want to keep forever. Have it on a little index card. Basically, put it you in do. your safe. Lock it up. Mm -hmm. But don't tell anyone because you're special. <laughs> Who's ever watching? Well, I mean, if you want to share it, it's okay. Oh no, you definitely share. <laughs> All right, so, Mama Lisa's salad their song. Uh, when I just got this recipe in these proportions, I, I've never detoured from it. So. What you want to do is you want to use a third. You're going to use a third of um, vinegar, and you can do a third cup, third of a cup. So it's a third of a cup of vinegar to two thirds of olive oil. So that's always your proportions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make double. So I use a little bit of rice wine vinegar, and I use a little of the aged balsamic. And so whatever your proportions would be, this gives it a little bit of sweetness. This obviously gives it a tart and a richness and a deepness. So then I'll use a little bit of this. I use a little bit more of the rice wine than I use balsamic because balsamic can be a little bit heavy. So we, if you're filling it up to a third of a cup, maybe you're going to do like almost a third of a cup rice wine vinegar and then finish it to a third of a cup balsamic. I think we're going to need some more of this. Can you go grab okay. some? So then I have get this um, extra virgin organic unfiltered olive oil from Trader Joe's. It's really good, I really like it. So then once you have it to a third, then you fill up your cup the rest of the way to a cup. And then you have your, your perfect proportions. I make, obviously, extra because I have a family of six to feed. Okay, then after you get your two cups of olive oil in there, or sorry, your cup of olive oil in there, then I add mustard. You can add dry mustard. You can add whole mustard. I usually just plop a nice big, because we all like mustard, right? Mm -hmm. In there. Okay. Then I need to fill this up a little bit more because we need a little bit more olive oil. Then you're going to add pepper. I usually don't add black. I'll use everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's, which has pepper and fennel and. Um, 
chili pe red chili pepper and a bunch of other mm, great stuff yummy. in there. Then your last little ingredient is going to be one clove of garlic. Ooh. I'm gonna add maybe three because I have two two cups in there because I we all like garlic. Raw garlic, one of the best things for your immune system. So good for your immune system. So I'm gonna add three cloves. Ooh. And you use this little crusher. When I was a little kid, I thought this was the coolest thing. Just put it in there and just squeeze it out. It's pretty fun. It's like those Play-Doh things, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> this little thing was not cheap, but it should be passed on to my generations past me probably for the next 300 years. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this into a jar, and then I don't have to whip it or anything. I can just shake it. Whoa. So this is your, shake, shake it up. where did you uh, learn this recipe? Um, I actually. Or is this trial and error? No, actually, I think I learned this recipe from Michelle Layton, who lives in town. Oh. Michelle Layton, kudos to you. Michelle Layton, Michelle? kudos. Kudos to you, yes. Yes. Now, anyone who's watching live, feel free to ask questions throughout the lunch. That's why we're here. The doc has many amazing expertise and tips and advice to share, so Feel free to comment and just ask questions along the way. Okay. Do you want to put the rest of the stuff All right, in the here we go. So on. we're going to start combining oh everything goodness. together. So you oh, don't know. forget your pine nuts. Yes. Okay, oh. so I roasted these organic pine nuts. Pine nuts are so amazing. You can use them for so many things. Just like this week, we just made our um, fresh at-home pesto sauce, which is unbelievable. You put a whole pack of basil in. You put these in. You put Parmesan cheese, garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, and you blend it all together and it makes the most amazing pesto sauce. So stay tuned. We'll share that at some point. But this is just these organic pine nuts. Those are from Costco. Miss, from Costco. Miss Michelle Gerald just said she's going to make that dressing tonight. Oh, do it! <laughs> Woohoo! You're going to love it. All right, so I'm adding the pine nuts. I love pine nuts with like I guess you tuna. like a lot of pine nuts. Yeah, I like a lot of pine nuts. I <laughs> I, maybe I made too many. We can save the rest, you know? But I think pine nuts are Dang, just... look at all that color. Woo! All right, <laughs> next thing we're going to add these tomatoes. What are these, Mom? Mini heirloom tomatoes? Mini heirloom Organic tomatoes. Organic mini yes, heirloom tomatoes. Medley cherry tomatoes. Mixed medley cherry tomatoes. Oh, a little fast. Oh, sorry. Let's do that again. <laughs> Mixed no. melody. Yes, mixed melody. I love mixed. Sounds melody. like my house all the time. Medley, guys. Mm. Medley. Oh, medley, not melody. <laughs> I know. But you know, you could say that they evoke melody in you. All right, here's I the olives. I was making the plan words. Yes. Very important. Ooh. Sprouts. Sprouts. Whoa. Which are small little seedlings. I think there's radish in here. There's. Mm. Let's see what they say. Um, it doesn't say what's in there, but there's probably beets and radish and. Oh, it does. And Ooh. so they're little mini powerhouses of energy and nutrients. Nutrients. So broccoli, purple kohlrabi, mizuna, never heard of that, Ooh. kale, red cabbage, organic red mustard, organic tatsoi, organic amaranth. So. Like the stone? Is there an amaranth stone? Huh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I think so. So, but these have, these are packed with nutrients and they're really good for you. So. We do those. Yes, do those. Nacho now we got the art, those artichoke hearts. Wow. Woohoo! Are we making salad for 50? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, if you're online, come over. We have extra salad. Yeah, come over. So we only have the tuna, man. Okay, well, we'll put the plop the tuna in at the end. Plop the tuna at the um, end. Um, yes. Woohoo! Right. So that was Mama oh. Lisa's special, secret, epic, homemade. Yes. Salad dressing. It's look at this going down right now, you guys. There's all sorts of glory in there. The more colors in your meal, the better. Oh. So look at all them colors. Look at all them colors. We are gonna feast. We are gonna. Fall Another on. important thing to do is to use compost and have a compost pile in your house. You have a compost? Isn't that gross? Doesn't it smell weird? It smells a little funny, but it's natural, right? So we put 
everything we've used, all the little, you know, parts of the even our vegetables even that we don't use, even our coffee, off coffee, filters. coffee filters, because they're paper. You put them all in the compost, and then you let that sit for how long, Mom? Um, six months to nine months, and you stir it every once in a while. It needs grass greens. Stir it needs green grass, which is the hot part of it, to really make it mm. grass trimming. Grass trimming, thank you, or branches or leaves, and that really helps keep the heat in there and not make it soggy. That's very important. I just learned the other day that you can put hair in there, and that hair is good. So whenever I brush Whoa. my dog, I put um, his his hair his hair in the compost. I pile. just trimmed my hair this morning by myself. Oh. Yeah. See? Your compost pile. I kind of like oh, just used good. a buzzer and just went. Zzz. It's probably pretty uneven because I did it in the mirror, but Looks great. it's okay, man. I saved 20 bucks, so what's up? Mm -hmm. Okay, back to you guys. About him this morning when I saw him, but you know what's actually a really funny story? No. One time, <laughs> I was away at college, my freshman year of college, and you know, I just thought, I need to make a change. I need to like look older and mature, so I decided to cut off my long... My long locks to about here, and my brother Raya came up to visit me at school, and I came out with like my new hair, like short, right? All my life had been long, and I was like, "Hey, Raya," waiting for him to notice me, like, "Whoa, your hair!" and just then noticed, and you know, his friend at the time was like. Uh, excuse me, don't you realize that there's something different with her? And he's like, "No." I'm like, and finally he's like, oh, you got your hair. <laughs> Such a guy moment. Such a guy moment. You know, it's so good. Okay, so let's talk. Let's, it's your brother. It's my brother. Your brother is just clueless. You know. Okay, let's open up our kombucha. Oh, let's open oh, up the kombucha. Oh, stop it. Woo! Mama Lisa's own homemade crafted kombucha okay. with recycled kombucha bottles. How sustainable can you be? I mean, seriously. I mean, okay. look at all of these kombucha bottles that we've bought and used over the years, and now we just make kombucha out of it. She so should. Sick. She should really be woman of the year. I think. Oh my gosh, she could so, be so lean. You gotta get, get the sound on there. Okay, wait. Listen, listen, everyone. Ooh, let's get it oh! <laughs> That's some carbonation going down right there. Woo! What do you guys think about that? Tell me what you think. Oh yeah. This is a very, very, very carbonated batch. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I opened one that had like, it was in a Perrier bottle because we needed more bottles. And I opened it and it literally was all over my face. I was fully clothed. It was like everywhere. It was on the ceiling, all over here. I'm like, nice. Okay, here we go. So when you are, when if you, we're, we're going to have another class on kombucha making. Yes. When are we, we going to do that? Do we know this yet? summer, we're going to do fermented okay. foods, kombucha, and also like fermented vegetables. Yeah, this kimchi. Is, I'm slowly opening it, and as you can see, it's, it's, <laughs> oh yeah, a slow process. Miss Heidi is online. <laughs> Miss Heidi Walty. Oh, oh Heidi, <laughs> cousin okay. love. This is love you. Yeah, this is a. I think I made them a little bit. Too, I, I'm gonna. Hello, Miss Catherine. Oh, out, I'm Catherine. Figure out what the I best. did. And Michelle. Michelle. So many amazing viewers. We love it. Yeah, so this kombucha is going to take a while. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put it on a plate and we'll take it out. You know what I did? I just opened the top all the way and then put a, gla uh, a glass, glass under underneath okay. it. We'll and do then that. just Let's like Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. volcanoed over, over and into the okay, glass. Okay, we'll do that. Well, that's a really good idea. So, just Mom, what's in this kombucha this time? So, um, this kombucha I made with pineapple, strawberries, mango, vanilla vanilla bean, a fresh whole vanilla, vanilla bean, and um, after I mix them Wait, all, say that again. So, pineapple, yep. mango, yep. strawberries, and vanilla bean. Wow, that's a interesting Put those in a blender and blended it all up, and what? frozen fruit what does better, Yeah. because it like breaks down the cell wall, and then I added, and you'll see as I, um, oh, there it goes, as I um, strain it, after I put, um, 
Whoa. See, those are... Those are uh, vanilla beans? No, those are hibiscus. Hibiscus? I put hibiscus leaves. Mm. You felt... You did, oh, hibiscus leaves in at the end? At the very end. My gosh, this is some intricate, almost ornate, like, mm -hmm. kombucha. Pretty yeah. ornate. And these hibiscus leaves came from the Oaxaca district mm. of... Um, no. Mexico. Gary and I went Stop down there. Stop it. All the way from Mexico. You're joking. <laughs> we went down there and treated people with chiropractically in the Oaxaca district of wow. Mexico in November. And so we, I brought home a bunch of... You guys, homemade kombucha with Oaxacan hibiscus yeah. flowers. I know Give this, me a break. Don't do this at home with your finger in your your friend's drinks, but... I, <laughs> I have to. We trust her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this Except is... when you're seven and she busts out an April Fool's joke on you and you think she has some weird, like, thing on her face forever. That scared me for the rest of my life. You what remember that? What was that? that? When, when I fell in the middle of the night? No. No, no, this was when I was, like, a young kid and you did oh. pull the, just the meanest April Fool's joke on your child. You put, like, your, your mask, your, like, little facial mask on your face <laughs> and you're like, I'm ew. I have a disease. I was like, no. Oh my mom! You're like, I'm just kidding, it's April Fool's. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, but she's a very trustworthy oh, woman. She is. Did anyone do any good April Fool's jokes? If you're watching, just a little comment and give us a little story. I was trying to think of an April Fool's thing to do this year, but I just, you know, I didn't spend the time to be creative enough. But hopefully, some what's, people do. What's our water thing? What is that big weird? Ooh, so Kangen big. water. So, this is a water ionizer. Basically what it does is a lot of us have bodies that are too acidic from the food we eat or whatever it may be. Our bodies are in an acidic environment and actually cancer grows in acidic environments, illness, all that stuff. So it's really important to alkalinize our bodies so that we're at a normal pH. We should be at a pH of about 7. So ionized water can be at a pH of from 8 to 9 and it helps to rebalance your body's pH. Got it. So we all drink alkaline water. Oh, it's clean. But it talks to you and it says alkaline water. And then you go, thank you so much, ionizer. So this is um, an amazing, amazing investment to have. So if you're just joining us, we just made lunch with Mama Lisa. We just made this super amazing salad. She concocted her own salad dressing that's amazing. And now we're going to go outside and eat on our beautiful deck in our beautiful backyard in beautiful downtown Laguna Beach. Yes! Lovely. How blessed can we be, oh, people? Oh, very blessed. So this is our backyard. If you've never been here, never seen it, that's a pomegranate tree. It just released all of its green beautiful flowers it was barren for the whole winter here's our other pomegranate tree here's our umbrella and here's our meal we got homemade kombucha we got the super salad from miss mama lisa and miss maria arthur and we're gonna add the tuna now raya made the tuna mixture he put this mayo in. Now this is avocado oil mayonnaise, so it's made with avocado oil. It doesn't have any sugar. It's dairy free. It's soy and canola free. It's gluten and grain free. So this is a really good mayo right here. And you use this, correct? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some jalapeno pepper hot sauce. You know that it's really important to add peppers and different spices into your meal. They have a lot of nutrients and a lot of health benefits. So we're gonna just plop this on top here. Ryan gets the orange plate. He likes orange. He's an orange. He has or his orange. Kind of his guy. room's painted orange. You guys want to see my orange? Yeah. See through the window. There's my orange orange wall. Um. All right, she's gonna be right back. In dang! The so that's the tuna you put on top of the salad that you just made. Mm-hmm. Wow. Just add the tuna on top of there. Fish has a lot of amazing omegas and um, fish oils which are really good to have we take those in supplement form a lot because it's just really healthy fats we we're talking about health fats before they are so good for you it's pretty much a lot of research coming out nowadays that shows how healthy fat is and kind of under undermining the myth that fat is what causes you know 
high cholesterol and all those things. Yes, bad fats, but healthy fats are really important actually for heart health and everything like that. So, it's good. One, one of the things is really important is fish gives you omega-3. A lot of the other oils that you eat more regularly, like safflower oil and canola oil and corn oil and peanut oil are all omega-3s. Mm -hmm. And um, they find that when you have that ratio out of balance, which are much more omega-6s and omega-3s, it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. And so eating more fish, more walnuts, more flaxseed can help you bump up those omega-3s. Mm -hmm. And maybe just consider with the other oils just to keep it, just to really think about your ratios. And if you're eating a lot of chips, like potato chips and corn chips, mm -hmm. you're getting a lot of those omega-6s. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, you know, we just believe that it is really important to be thankful for your food and to bless your food and to thank God for what he's given us. So we're just going to bless the food really quick and then we're just going to eat. So I'm just going to thank God. So thank you, Father, so much for this food. We thank you that we're blessed to have nutrients and amazing meals in front of us. And we love you. We thank you. Amen. Amen. So now, what an epic epic experience for all you guys out there hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed gleaning some info from the amazing mama lisa the mm -hmm. culinary glory um feel free to rewatch this live video if you have time share uh, it with friends share it with friends take some notes do it yourself maybe take a photo or a video and send it to us let us know like your super yes. secret creation maybe we can like <laughs> incorporate it and integrate it into our uh process but i just realized i'm talking behind the camera so no one knows who's speaking it's just some silly interesting so just, ghost man behind here there we go we yeah, cheers. Let's, let's cheers here, right? it. cheers cheers right. cheers it cheers it can let's see if i can pull up ah, 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 cheers ah, it. all right you guys well thanks for joining us for lunch with the doc every uh, week wednesdays at 12 30 we're going to be doing it. We'll post and tell you on Mondays where we're going to be. Yeah. So you can always join us. You can join us in person. You can join us live oh, on Facebook. In person. In person. So just come sweet. by. We're up right. Just surprise oh, that's us. That's a great idea. Bring your questions. Talk with the doc. It's Bring your fun. salad that you made. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Bon Thanks appetit. for joining us. Bon appetit.